I'm going to show you how to convert fonts to outlines with the PDF that you sent me and hopefully this will help you uh, or you can refer back to it and um, remind yourself if you need to until you get used to doing it um, sec as a second nature thing. Okay, so I'm going to open up the document in Acrobat Pro. Okay, All right, looks like it's all here. Okay, so <clears throat> one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to go to the tools and um, we're going to want to go to the pages section. That's where you're going to find the watermark tool. We're going to add watermark. And what it will do is pull up this page. So the most important thing that you're going to want to do on this page is this part right here. I'm not sure what tutorial I looked at, but um, they and then I've and I've not tested this without doing this step of the watermark, but they stated that you have to have an opacity less than 100% for the watermark that you create so that it will work properly on the next step that I'm going to show you, um, which is the flattener preview, but we'll get to that. So what we're going to do there, we set that less than 100%, and what I do, you can pick any letter, anything like that. I have typically used the letter J for whatever reason I started using it. And um, so what it will do is, um, you see here it's putting it right in the middle of our page and it's pretty large. What I'm going to do is um, down here on the positioning of the watermark down below, I'm going to actually, uh, center is fine on this particular artwork I think it'll be fine once we reduce the, reduce the size of it, uh, but I'm going to put it off to the right. And so, as you can see here, it shifted it off to the right, but it's still large enough that it's getting in, in with the other artwork, which I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to actually change the size up here down to something a lot smaller. Now, I don't know if you can see it on this or not. There's this little dot right here. That is our J now and it's out of the main part of the artwork that's the main thing you're going to want to do when you do this step is just try to find some artwork some part of your your um, document that does not have anything there or someplace where it will be real easy to remove this once we get it into Illustrator okay these steps are real simple it's just you know taking a little bit to explain it it uh, goes pretty quickly whenever you're doing it on your own and, and are repeating this uh, so that it becomes like second nature to you. All right, so we've made our um, opacity less than 100%. We've put a letter in there to be the watermark um, just to force the program to go through those um, steps. I made it small, set it off to the right or out of the artwork. So I'm just gonna say, okay, at this point and if we scroll down here I think actually we should be able to see that up oh, there it is I can barely see it off here to the right oops here it is up here now well, I guess my machine is slow um, there it is okay I caught it here <laughs> so it's right there if you can see it but anyway so we've done that step um, and again, make sure, I don't think I told you this to begin with, but make sure you're working with a copy of your original, just because when we save this, it's easy to avoid making any changes if we just do a, a command S, save. Um, or I guess we could go up here and just say save whenever we're ready. But So, all right, back to what we're doing. So I made the, the J watermark less than 100%. So we're going to go down now, instead of pages, we're going to go down to print production tools. I'm going to click on that. And what we're interested in is this one down here called flattener preview. 
that will actually give us the option of flattening and converting um, all of these fonts to outlines using the fonts that are in that the whoever created the PDF uh, embedded in this document when they saved it. Um, that avoids any system substitutions or anything like that. Okay, so we did that. Now what we're going to want to do here, the most important thing, and I guess really the only step, is we want to convert all text to outlines. So I'm going to select that. This preview disappears for some reason. I don't know why, but it's okay. Um, <clears throat> so we've selected that. And then here, all we really have to do is decide, you know, in this particular case, it's a single page document. If you have more than one page, then you could apply this to multiple pages if you needed to, whatever the case. But anyway, so all I'm going to do is say apply and click that. It will go through the process of flattening the document, um, of converting all of the text to outlines. And, um, and really, as soon as this finishes, um, all I will have to do, since we've already applied it down here, all I will have to do is close this dialog box and then do our uh, save step and then, uh, then close it. <clears throat> and that's, that's really pretty much it. So I'm going to close it now. And then I'm going to go and save this document. So it has saved it. I don't know if you saw this in the background kind of update. So what I'm going to do is close it in Acrobat. I've already got Illustrator running in the background, so I'm going to grab this document I just saved that we put that watermark on. I'm going to bring it down and drag it onto my Illustrator. Open it up, and as you notice, it did not have any font issues that it yelled at me for. If I go in here with my hollow arrow tool, I can select any of these letters, and it's an outline. And that was what we were going for. So over here is that watermark, <clears throat> so that it, that J that I made. So in order to not have it show up on our finished document, you know, just do your normal Illustrator thing. I'm going to um, drag select it, and notice here the blue. I've got the the uh, outline of my PDF, the uh, mask that is usually there on uh, pretty much every PDF that masks off all the dot, all the contents and uh, makes it as one page. But I'm going to do a option, option shift, drag select, whatever you need to do to deselect that, that's fine. And then that, the way I did that, it leaves my J uh, still selected. So all I'm going to do is hit delete. And at this point, uh, the document's exactly the same as what we had before. Uh, I've not changed any color settings, I've not done any modifications to it other than converting those fonts to outlines. And so I'm, all I'm going to do is do a Command S, or in this case I can just say Save, same thing. And once it saves, it's finished saving. Uh, I'll close it, and um, you, know, you can do whatever you need to with it at that point, but all the fonts are outlines at this point. So those, you know, it took a little bit taking us through that process, but those are the basic steps, and it's something that can uh, easily happen in a, a minute or two uh, if you are just in the middle of uh, doing a few of these or, or want to do it yourself. Um, the explaining of this took way longer than, than actually just going in and doing it yourself. So hopefully, hopefully this has helped. Uh, let me know if you need any further help. Thanks.